A suspected natural gas home explosion over the weekend in Carrollton appears to have been ignited by a man lighting a cigarette. The early morning blast sent the man to the hospital and led to the temporary evacuation of several homes. As Maria Guerrero is reporting, some residents say authorities have not given them enough information to put their minds at ease. Broken windows, shattered glass, Atmos energy crews making repairs. Neighbors are worried after Saturday morning suspected natural gas explosion along Highland Drive. I'm still scared. Like, I hope I don't have to leave my house. The Carrollton Fire Department says there was a natural gas leak underground that infiltrated to this home's sewer pipes. It found a pipe, a way for it to get in. There may have been a, we, again, I don't know for sure, but there may have been a crack in the sewer pipe or something that caused the gas to get up into that, uh, that residence. Fire Chief Michael Thompson says natural gas built up in a bathroom until a man inside lit a cigarette. So yeah. you didn't hear anything? No. Besides my dogs barking, I wouldn't have woken up. Incredibly, five other people sleeping in rooms away from the bathroom were not hurt. Thompson says no one reported a gas leak beforehand, adding six other homes were temporarily evacuated only as a precaution. The neighborhood is safe. It was isolated to, to one house. The more time that, that goes by and we see them working, it's, time, it's time to worry us a little more. Atmos did not respond to NBC5's questions about what exactly led to the explosion, but says Atmos Energy technicians remain on scene as we work to restore service. Adding a reminder, smell gas, act fast. But as we learned, that distinctive rotten egg smell added to natural gas may not always be there. When it goes through ground dirt and it's filtered, that scent can be removed from it. So occasionally, sometimes you won't smell it. They were also all asleep, so we don't know how long it was leaking for, where it was coming up, so they were all asleep at that time. The victim remains hospitalized. In Carrollton, Maria Guerrero, NBC5. We took residents' feelings about a lack of communication to the fire chief and were told city and atmos teams will be heading to the neighborhood to talk to those residents.